Hello and welcome to all LEGO like Marvel sets retiring in 2023. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe. There is quite a few on this list and a few changes from the last one I did. So starting off the list is set 10781, Miles Morales, Spider-Man's Techno Trike. This retails for £9 or $10 and was first available in January 1st, 2022. Contains only 60 pieces, which isn't the most, uh, but a decent set nonetheless. Moving on to set 10784, this is the Spider-Man's Web Quarters Hangout. This retails for £45 or $50 and was also released January 1st, 2022. Moving on to set 10790, this is Team Spidey and the Green Goblin Lighthouse. This retails for £30, $35 and was released March 1st, 2023. So relatively short runtime on that, um, just under a year. So I was quite surprised to see this set stay on the list. Moving on to set 76187, this is the Venom Helmet, this retails for £60 or $70, and was first released April 26th, 2021. I will have a video about whether or not you should invest in some of these sets coming out soon, I'll try and link them down below or when they're out. Um, moving on to set 76193, this is the Guardian Ship, this retails for £140 or $160, and was first released June 1st, 2021, so it would have had a runtime of just over two and a half years, which is slightly longer than most LEGO sets. Moving on to set 76206, this is the Iron Man figure, this retails for £40, $40 or €45, Euros, and was first released January 1st, 2022, so about an average uh, runtime there of two years by the time it retires. Moving on to set 76207, this is Attack on New Asgard, retails for £18, $25 or €20, Euros, so a slight difference in the price there, and was first released April 26th, 2022. Moving on to set 76208, this is the Goat Boat, this retails for £55, $60 or €60, Euros, and was first released April 26th, 2022 as well, uh, so those two sets came out at the same time. Moving on to set 76209, this is Thor's Hammer, this retails for £105, $100 or €120, Euros, and was first released March 1st, 2022, so another quite big price um, difference there, which is quite odd to see in some sets. Moving on to set 76211, this is, uh, I'm probably going to butcher this, but I think it's Jerry's Sunbird. This retails for £45 or $50 and was first released October 1st, 2022. Um, it's not a right set, it's been on sale majority of the time, down to about £30 or even less. Moving on to set 76212, this is Jerry's Lab. This retails for £9 or $10 or €10 Euros, and was released October 1st, 2022. This set does only contain 58 pieces and there's nothing special in the set as well. Moving on to set 76213, this is King Namor's Throne Room. This retails for £30, $35 or €35 Euros, and was also released October 1st, 2022. It's a decent set. I've definitely seen this on sale about £17, £18 in the UK. Um, so if you wanted it cheap, it has been that price for quite a long time. I don't expect these sets to do very well post-retirement either. Moving on to set 76214, this is Black Panther, War on the Water. This retails for £80, $90 or €90, Euros, and was also released October 1st, 2022. Another set which has been on sale quite a lot for its runtime. Uh, not really too much to say, except from it only contains 545 pieces uh, for £80, which is quite a lot of money. Moving on to set 76215, this is the Black Panther like Busk. Uh, this retails for £300, $350 or €350 Euros, and was released October 1st, 2022. I've hardly seen this price at retail, probably like the first few weeks it was out, um, but the Zavi have had it 150 loads of times and even less, so it's a good set by the looks of it, it's just massively overpriced. Moving on to set 76216, this is the Iron Man Armoury, this retails for £80 or $90 and was first released June 1st, 2022. We had just seen a Iron Man Armoury um, retire just before this set came out. So it's a pretty um, iffy set if they're just going to release another one um, next September. But you never know. Moving on to set 76225. This is the Mars Morales figure. This retails for £25, $25 or €30. Euros. I was first released September 1st, 2022. It's a decent set. I uh, don't really have much to say about these buildable figures, there's quite a few on this list. So moving on to set 76230, this is the Venom figure, this retailed for £25, $25 or €30, Euros, and was also released September 1st, 2022. 
However, this one does have about 50, 60 more pieces than the Mars Morales one. Um, so, a bit interesting that they are still the same price, but they are still good sets nonetheless. Moving on to set 76242, this is the Thanos Mech Armor. This retails for £13 or $15 and was first released January 1st, 2023. This was a set I expected to see move off the retirement list, um, like many of the other mechs which came out at the same time did. However, it is still on the list, which is quite surprising to me. Moving on to set 76253, this is the Guardians of the Galaxy Headquarters. This retails for £9, $10 or €10, Euros. I was at April 1st, 2023, so even shorter run time than the Thanos Mech Armor. However, it's just a cheap 67-piece um, set. Moving on to set 76255, this is the new Guardian ship. This retails for £90 or $100 or €100, Euros. I was released April 1st, 2023. This is a set I expected to last for longer. It's not the most popular set. It has been on sale quite a bit. I've picked this up for about £50. Um, however, it is the only set you can pick up um, Warlock in. So that could help it post-retirement if it is the only one you can still get him in. Moving on to set 76267. This is the Avengers Advent Calendar. This retails for £30, $45 or 38 euros some quite interesting prices there that was released september 1st 2023 as expected all the advent calendars do tend to retire by the end of the year so nothing um special about that limited release time so that is going to be it for this video if you're new please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next time bye